A major heart medication has been recalled because batches of the drugs have been contaminated with cancer-causing chemicals. Now, can't make that up. The, the, this, this drug that people are, this is, a, this is an entire class of drugs. Right. And the, the problem is we know exactly where the, where the contamination is coming from. It's being contaminated with toxins from jet fuel. Take it from there. It, it, this is such an odd story here. Valsartan is this class. It's used in blood thinners and, and heart medications. Yeah. And so it's manufactured or, or final manufactured, I guess you would call it. Part of the manufacturing process is done over in China. And while they're doing that, somehow this chemical called NDMA, it right. has a very long scientific name, hard horribly, to pronounce. Horribly toxic horribly right. carcinogen. It, it, it is. This thing will absolutely give you liver cancer. Yeah. This chemical does. In, in very small doses. That, what's interesting about, the, about the, the chemical, this is what everybody can't miss, is what we call a dose response. The dose response is very, very small. So that, this is a critical point. Right. And so they, they go through this manufacturing process in China. It gets contaminated with this jet fuel NDMA cancer causing chemical shipped, not just here to the U S all over the world. Mm. So that's any Valsartan medication made by AS medication solutions, which is also labeled as Solco healthcare, Bryant ranch prepack, H J Harkins company, Northwind pharmaceuticals. And the biggest one is Teva pharmaceutical industries. They made a lot of this also labeled as Actavis and major pharmaceuticals. Any one of those that contains Valsartan has been recalled for containing uh, this cancer causing chemical. Okay, People here's the problem though. Here's where it really gets ugly. A, a, a company understands what's happened here. They understand that they've put millions of people at risk. And so a person, the, the chances, if you don't see this, art, this story, for example, you probably won't even know about it because corporate media won't tell stories like this. Right. The idea of, of being able to turn on the nightly news and have corporate media say, hey, look, you might want to know the heart medicine you're taking, the blood pressure medicine that you're taking has been contaminated with a drug, with a chemical, a toxic chemical that is so toxic that the dose response that you get in very, very low doses can be projected and can develop, can, can, can develop cancerous problems in a time period that is actually faster than a normal progression of cancer. Now, because it goes to the liver and the liver is so susceptible to cancer. That's the unique thing about this. We're, sometimes you hear about a contaminant, you hear about a toxin that's a contaminant and it causes cancer. And usually it's a very latent process. It takes a while for it to develop. Here, this, this, this NDMA works a little differently. It works right on the liver. The liver is very susceptible to, to, to cancer from this toxin. And if, if you know somebody taking any of the drugs, read the list again. I think it's important. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, get that here. But it's also, it, it's important to point out these are heart medications and people unfortunately cannot just stop immediately taking them. They, well, they have to go visit their doctor and they need to do that. If you think you were on one of these medications, you need to do that let, immediately. Well, let's just post it. We'll post, yeah, it on, yeah. we'll post it on the show because I want everybody to see this. But here's, here's what's really important about it. Every time you hear a drug that's being a recall or, you know, it's got a problem, it's causing death, it's causing disease, the industry always comes out and says to the FDA, you got to tell people that they can't just stop taking it suddenly as if there are no other kinds of alternatives. There are alternatives to every drug out there. Very unusual where there's not a, an alternative. This is a class. This is a, a class of drugs that treats blood pressure, treats heart. There are many classes of drugs that do that. So yes, you want to get, you want to get an alternative, but the idea of, oh my God, I got to be so afraid because I, I got to keep taking this stuff. Understand. These people want to continue selling this drug, even though they've pulled it from the market. Right. The inventory that's left out in the market is massive. Oh, right, right, right. And, 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 and my point is that, you know, it's not that they have to keep taking the contaminated drug. It's that if you're on heart medication, you have to remain on heart medication. The consequences of Correct. skipping it can be, you know, deadly. Correct. So but, you've got to get to your doctor as soon as possible to get a better prescription for a drug that's not going to 
oh, by the way, give you liver cancer in addition to your heart problems. And, and another, oh, by the way moment, they've known about this for a very long time. They've sat on it for a very long time. These companies could have sent out dear doctor letters. They could have done a withdrawal. They could have gone in the newspaper and said, you need to know about this. They didn't do it because every day the drug is on the market, they're making more money. And so what we always see them do, this delay in coming in, in getting the message to the person, don't take this anymore, it's being withdrawn. They understand their inventory out there is massive. As, it's, as we sit here and talk about it, people are still using this drug. So they don't, they're not in a big hurry. Well, and here's the thing too. You know who else wasn't in a big hurry was our own FDA. Yes. Because 22 yes. other countries had already pulled right. Valsartan containing medications off the shelves before our FDA said, all right, I guess we'll do a recall. Yeah. Everybody else yeah. did it. We'll finally do it like too. Like it was a yawn moment. Yeah. The death toll in Flint, Michigan can be, can be much as 10 times higher than originally reported. And the situation is just as bad today as it was a few years ago. Got a couple of minutes. This story is, uh, is an agonizing story for those folks in Flint, Michigan. It, it, it really is because what we're finding out now, these deaths that we're talking about, this actually isn't the lead. This water, the same lead contaminated water is also contaminated with Legionella bacteria. Right. And that right. is absolutely one of the most deadly bacteria yeah. in the US that you can get inside your body. And we're looking at at least, um, I think about 116 people dead from this, whereas the official death toll that the city gave us was 12. Well, the Legionella story tells you how, how contaminated the water is. Legionella thrives in contaminated environments, okay? That's, that's the notion of Legionella. But when it's not just, you're gonna have lead poisoning and your children are going to have mental deficiencies because of it, or you're gonna have systemic organic uh, organ problems because of this. Now we know the Legionella has the ability to kill you now. So we're not talking about delayed, we're talking about real time. And these numbers where they're, where they're projecting 10 times as high. Well, and, and so you, look, the people in Flint, Michigan are suffering every day, just like the people in Puerto Rico, yeah. but now it's okay. Well, if the Legionella doesn't kill you, you're still going to have, you know, a horribly deficient life because we poisoned you and your kids with lead and Sorry. you're screwed either Sorry. way. Sorry, nobody's responsible. Right.